Hey everybody, this is your girl, dating coach Martha Bodyfelt, and as you guys already know at this point, um, I am your dating and relationship coach for grown-ups women who, you know, maybe want to find love again, want to open their hearts again, but would rather, oh, I don't know, get their toenails yanked out than actually try to enter the dystopian hellscape that is online dating. So, as many of you all know, I am in the throes of the launch for Ready for Love, which is my exclusive program just for women like you who are no like neophytes to dating. You guys have been around, you've had maybe your heart broken once or twice, and you've actually like probably broken a couple of hearts. I know you guys, you man killers, I know you. And so if you're thinking, hey, you know, I want to date, but I, I don't know if I want to like do it, do it like I always did. I'm not sure what to do. I hate going online. What Ready for Love is going to do for you is it's going to show you the dating DNA framework that is basically going to give you that blueprint, that foolproof, full, that foolproof um, basically roadmap. So you can have that courage to date again without feeling like you're going to be rejected and get your heart broken. You're going to have that confidence to actually date as a grown ass woman and not kind of the, the regular bullshit we're doing. Like we're dating, like we're 25, like no wonder why you're still feeling kind of like cynical about dating. And in addition to that, you are going to get the clarity and the dating detox that you need in order to date successfully. Who doesn't want that, right? Because I don't know about you guys, but I know when I was single, I didn't want to be dating all the time. I was, I was, I was sick of it. I was craving connection. I wanted to feel desired and seen and heard. So here's the thing. So you guys all know already that this uh, this program is launching and we are actually going to begin the next round on February 14th. Mad corny. I know I can't change the calendar. And you, I know, I know all of you guys watching have been looking at the, um, the videos, have been reading the posts. And I'm really, really thankful for you guys to have done that. I really am because this community is nothing unless, unless you all are here. However, what I've noticed about you yes, you, you badass woman who is watching this right now, is you're following it. You know that this four-month intensive program exclusively for women just like you seems really, really cool. You're like, hey, Martha's going to give me like the play-by-play -play in order to date successfully. But instead of signing up for a next steps call, instead of reaching out to me and saying, hey, Martha, yeah, tell me, tell me more details. I want to know about the program. I know that something's holding you back and I know, and I get that because you might be telling yourself, you know, actually, I don't, I don't, I don't need this. I don't need a four month program. Um, I'll figure this out myself. I'll just kind of do what I'm doing. I'll join a hiking club. Oh, I'll, I'll, I'll go volunteer for some political thing, or, you know, I'll just go online again. And uh, yeah, and this, this, this time will be different. But here's the thing, if you are waiting for a sign, if there's any inkling that you are interested and ready for love, but you're just saying, you know what, I'm just not sure yet. I don't know. And you're just kind of like maybe looking for a sign, although that sounds really bit kind of corny to say, here's the thing, right now, as you are watching this, this is your sign. This is your sign to go, and I'm going to leave the link here, but I am going to leave this link yeah that my my mom was just messaging me not about ready for love though um but uh this is your sign to actually put that faith in yourself and say yes to yourself and yes to investing in yourself yes to investing in your future joy your future happiness your future healthy beautiful love life and book that next steps call with me this is your sign i don't know how to make that any more clear this is your sign because here's the thing, I know that hesitation because I've always been a little bit afraid before I was about to do something that, that was a big investment of time and finances. And I was dealing with it. I know you guys are dealing with the same thing right now too, that, well, I don't, I don't really think I need this, you know, um, you know, cause gosh, it's an investment. And, um, you know, what if, what if I go and try to just online date again? Let me let me just try to do that again. Or, you know, maybe I'll just kind of join a church choir or who joins a church choir? I don't know. But oh, let me just, you know, just I don't know, just go out with my friends or just work on myself. And, you know, I'll, you know, I, I can find love that way. But I'm going to be honest with you guys. And this is the Empower Dating for Women group. And so I know you guys are all big girls and I know you can you can take this. But 
if those things would have worked for you, you would have already been successful at dating. Let me just give you that tough love that if going online and mind mindlessly scrolling and looking at all the profiles and all that would have actually been successful for you in dating, you would no longer be looking for love. If going and joining the hiking group or anything like that would have actually been successful, you would not be looking for love right now. So let's just get very, very honest here that when we tell ourselves, oh, I'm going to go do this thing, I'm just going to try it one more time, what we are doing is we're just kind of continuing to be in our comfort zone. But comfort, you guys, does not equal results. We know that. Nothing changes if nothing changes. So if you are really wanting to prioritize finding an incredible relationship and you really want to know how to attract wonderful men that are for you and not like the 20-year-old version of you, you have to do something different. Because here's the thing. I get it. I know you want that love, but I know that you're kind of scared to do something different. I completely understand that. But let that fear that you have let that hesitation where you're like, you know what, I don't, I don't, I don't know, I, I do want to give a call, I do want to book next steps call with Martha, but I just, I don't know, you know, maybe I'll just go try XYZ one more time, maybe I'll just sign up for Hinge one more time. Let that be your sign. The sign that you are reasoning with yourself to not take this leap into like this uncomfortable space, that is the sign that you should be taking that leap. It's counterintuitive, right? But here's the thing, that fear that you're feeling and that hesitation that you're feeling is the sign to take the next step. That's all. Because here's the thing, doing it alone and still feeling frustrated is a sign that this is not working for you right now if you want love. Going and scrolling online while you're taking a shit on the toilet, looking at the guy with the fish or the I'm six foot two and, you know, whatever, you know, and he like shows out like a blurred dick pic or whatever. And you feeling disgusted at that is a sign that you should be doing something differently. When somebody says, oh, let me set you up with my coworker. And you're like, I don't, I don't want to go with your coworker, Marine. Like that's, that is a sign that you should be doing something differently. And so here's the thing. If you want to find love and you want to get the shortcut and the short circuit in order to do that without wasting years or months of your life to not even have a result and to have no guarantee for that investment of your time or for the money that you're spending doing all that bullshit that doesn't work, if you don't want to do that anymore, let that be the sign as well to do something different. So what does that mean to everything? So Ready for Love, which is this incredible program, I only have a few spaces left. Now we start on Tuesday, February 14th, and I think you, yes, the one who's been reading all these posts, the one who's been watching all those videos, I see it, I know it, I don't know if that makes me a weirdo like Big Brother Stalker, but I see it because it's my group here. I want you to treat my calling you out on this, calling you out on your bullshit and calling you out on your procrastination as a sign you are looking for. This is a sign to have your courage be bigger than your fear. This is a sign to have your hesitation actually be trumped by your desire to be in that wonderful, loving relationship. And the fact that nothing's worked before is the sign for something different to work. So take that chance on yourself. Take a bet on yourself. It's always best to invest in yourself and bet on yourself. And the first step to do that is to book that next steps call with me. Now on this call, there's not going to be any weird, you know, used car salesman pressure. We don't do that. But it is going to be an opportunity for you to ask me any question you have under the sun about the Ready for Love group program. What are the guarantees? What are the results that you can expect to get? As well as what is the framework and actually how it's going to make you an incredible dater, a strong, fearless dater, and a confident dater who's actually going to be using your age and your life experience as an asset And not as a liability like the status quo is having you do right now. But you're not going to have that clarity to decide if this program is a hell yes for you or a no, no, this isn't the thing unless you have that call. 
So I would invite you to book that call. I'm going to have that information again right below here in the comments, or you can DM me for that information, and then we can take those next steps. But right now, you just waiting around for a sign and trying to like, oh, you know, have that clarity, you're not going to have that. And the fact that you're not doing anything is a decision as well. That is a decision that you want to stay stuck and you want to stay just kind of unhappy. And I don't think you want that for yourself. I think you actually want better for yourself. And I, as your dating coach, certainly wants better for you. But we're not going to have that clarity until we have that next steps call. So all of those signs, this is a sign. Me saying this to you right now as you watch it is that sign that you deserve better. You deserve to have a wonderful system that is going to show you how to get courageous and confident and meet incredible men. But that's not going to happen if you're not doing anything about that. So book your call. I can't wait to see you on that call. And we will go from there. But again, nothing changes if you don't make that decision to change for yourself. So I'm going to leave you with that. Um, that's all I got for now. I hope you guys all have a good rest of the day. And I will talk to you later. But remember, if you are looking for a sign and you're doing that, this is your sign. Me right here with my like black turtleneck, whatever, with this great Zoom background that is like from some Nordic whatever. This is your sign to do this. All right. I love you guys. I appreciate you guys. And I'm going to talk to you really, really soon. Bye-bye.